Hey guys, another video tutorial here. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to back up your Joomla website. And the way we're going to do that today is actually locally. And I will probably make another video that shows you how to do it um, on a hosted service. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it locally um, because I want to show you the basics of what it what it takes to back up a Joomla website. Um, the most important thing you can do to a Joomla website is back it up and update it. If you have it updated, make sure you, ha you have a backup of it. Um, even having an updated Joomla site could mean that you get hacked or, um, or something happens to your website, the server goes down or whatever. Um, make sure you have a, a backup, a solid backup. So um, the two things that you need to back up I'll show you here. So this is my directory that has all my Joomla files in it. And then you come over here to your phpMyAdmin and look at the database. So these are the two things that make up a Joomla site. You have your install files and over here you have your your uh, database files. So um, what's most important? Well the thing that your file hold, your files hold is um, things like plugins, modules, templates, um, components. Anything you've modified is going to be in that Joomla, in this in this Joomla directory. Um, so the the probably the most prominent is going to be templates, because usually most people that build Joomla websites. Um, put a template and the other thing is your images so images and files that you up, you've uploaded onto your site is right in images so these files are are just as important as your um, your database so the database also holds all of your content all your articles um, all of your users and things of that nature so you need both of them so in order to do this, um, what you want to do is click on your um, your database here, and you're going to come over to export. And you want to make sure that this is select all here, so you want all of your um, databases. And then you want to come down to the bottom here, hit save as, and you want to name this uh, d database name, and then you want to give it a date. This is what I always do. So today is um, February four. February today's the fifteenth. Yeah, I think today's the fifteenth. So we're gonna do uh, two dot one five dot two thousand eleven. And then I usually do a G zip. You can do a B zip if you're if you want to, or just a zip or none. And hit go. And this allows you to save it onto your desktop or wherever you want to save it. So there is my saved file so now I have the database backed up and I can restore that at any point so I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna I'm gonna back up this folder and what I do is I usually select them all right click on it and then I say um, uh, I do a compress I compress it down to one folder and then I back it up that way all my files are in one one spot and they're not in a, in a directory so here's my archive I'll rename that to my site name um, and the date 2-1-5-2011 so there's my date I'll drag that to my desktop and then what I do is I put both of these into another compressed folder called Joomla 2.15.2011 well I already named it that so I will now get rid of these and now I can name it Joomla 2.15.2011 so there we go and now I have a full backup of my website right in this folder 
and I could put that on a separate hard drive. I could put that anywhere I want, you know, in on my uh, on my external hard drives or or however I want to do it. I can also uh, upload that to a hosted service or something that that holds your backups. Uh, 